got back from Trader Joe's and we got some items, um, some repeat items, some are new items and some are new items just but that's just for us, um, not new items at Trader Joe's so here we have all we got. So first we got this drum fresh organic drumstick and it's a free range, organic free range chicken and it's a repeat item for us is $2.99 per pound so really the price is really good and then we also get the heirloom chicken thighs pasture raised it's all natural so this is really good we like it a lot the chicken when you cook it it's really not watery at all so it's really yummy so we got this too for our chicken um, then we also got this this is new item for Trader Joe's this chicken breakfast sausage patties so if you see here, it's right here, um, those are the patties. From the way I feel, it's not that big, it's not like as big as a burger patty, but, and then if this is the nutrition facts, and also the ingredients right here, it's not bad ingredients, definitely, so there's no bad oils in this one, so we got Earlier, like the drumstick, we got three package of drumstick and then four package of the heirloom chicken thighs. And then we got this, we got six of this. Again, like Matt as well get it because it's not, it's pretty small bag, you know. So Matt as well get a bunch of them. And another cold item we got is the non-dairy frozen dessert chocolate fudge oat bars. It's gluten-free, vegan, and there are four bars in it. I heard this bars are pretty good so I want to try this um, and let's see here are the nutrition facts and also the ingredients so let's see um, my, not too bad organic oat water hydrogenated well there is some sugar but as a given so I guess it's not it's not as bad but it has sunflower oil unfortunately but yeah but it's in the list of ingredients is one of the last so hopefully it's not that much of sunflower oil so we also got this if this is a repeat item this is black tea and boba coconut non dairy we like it a lot I mean not by we mean my daughter and I, the two of us that we like it. Um, this is from Coconut Non Dairy. It's not as sweet, so we like it a lot. The boba is really good. It's chewy. And then, well, if you want to see the nutrition facts and the ingredients, super small. Hopefully, you guys can see it when I rotate it slowly. Okay, then we also got more size cream. This is pretty new at Trader Joe's, and we never tried this one. And this is the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So nutrition facts first. Okay, lots of stuff here that not be healthy. The once in a while, we make the ice cream, s'mores ice cream. Heard a lot of good things about it. Now this one, I heard a lot of good things about this. Even two of the Trader Joe's employees that I talked to said it's really good. This is the horchata ice cream. Seasonal items, definitely. So they sometimes are back and sometimes are gone. So there's are the nutrition facts. And ingredients. I'm gonna rotate it one more time slowly so you guys can read the ingredients. Again, I don't think ice creams are healthy, so just by nature. And we got also this cold pressed juice watermelon. I heard these are seasonal items. So we got two bottles of those, I mean, this um, watermelon. So here are nutrition facts 
and ingredients. Yep, so I'm so curious because these are we, the first time we tried this cold pressed juice, watermelon from Trader Juice, so we're curious. So we'll, these are the cold items. I'm going to put them into the fridge and freezer first and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got some crisps. We got this last time. We got this crisps last, last time. This is the fig and olive crisp and we like it a lot. So we got it again. We last time we ate this with the cream fraise and so yummy. So here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. It has sunflower oil, I believe, yeah. So it's not the cleanest ingredient that they use. So again, this is the thick and olive crisp we also got the strawberry and jalapeno this is the first time we're trying this i love strawberry so we're gonna try this and these are the nutrition facts and the ingredients it has sunflower oil unfortunately so once in a while we gotta let ourselves loose and eating bad oils i guess <laughs> and these are raisin rosemary crisps this also would be our first time having this one and this one does also have sunflower oil here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients so okay so these are the three crisp that Trader Joe's currently have so the big olive strawberry jalapeno and raisin rosemary I'm not sure I'm not sure if they're seasonal items I heard they are, so that's why I make sure that I want to get all of them to try. And we got also this ube, ube mochi pancake and waffle mix. Supposed to be very chewy. Um, with purple yam. And it's gluten free. So, so curious. Last time, my daughter already saying like, Oh, let's get that. Let's get this. But I wasn't sure. Like, so we kept, you know, like back and forth. Finally, this time we get it. So we got, or this is this the nutrition facts, and also, as you can see, here is here are the ingredients. So, is there any bad oil here? It seems like there is no bad oil. Yay! It's a winner then. I'm so curious to try this. Can we try it? Definitely. Well. Share you with you guys how we like this ubi mochi pancake, and I love mochi, so I really hope that it has that chewiness of mochi. We also got this one. This is the first time we got this. I'm not sure if this is new, but we never seen this before. It's dark chocolate watermelon sticks. I love watermelon, and I love chocolate. So if they're together, maybe it's a good combo. And here are the nutrition facts. And some of the ingredients, I'm not sure if it has bad oil or anything, let me see. Other than sugar, it seems like it has no bad oil, so it's probably the most offensive is the sugar content of it. But yeah, I'm going to eat it not as much. Once uh, we open it, we should definitely just eat it bit by bit. Okay, so are the... Those are the snack items or the food items. We also this time get also this Trader Joe's Lavender cam Chamomile Chamomile Hand Soap. Um, my daughter loves hand soap, so it's always something that she's looking into. And this one is pretty good ingredients, as you can see. Is there is no um, bad ingredients in this soap, according to my daughter. She's the one who's checking it out. So it's good for your skin and we got also this one I believe this is a good new item is sea breeze castell hand soap it's very brown a bottle and here are the ingredients again there is no bad ingredients in this one either so we got two of this so we got two just in case there's a seasonal item and if you like the fragrance then we don't want to miss it we also get this Hand and body cream, fragrance free, 
Um, this one is supposed to be healthier because it doesn't have that paraben or things like that, bad ingredients. So these are the ingredients. I'm gonna rotate it slowly so you can, you can read them if you like to read the ingredients. So, yeah, we're curious to try this from their juice. Last item that we got today is the pop-up sponges made from natural vegetable cellulose. So here I, it, how it looks. So it's supposed to soak in the water and it's gonna then expand it, expand, it's gonna expand. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'm curious to try this one because normally we could just get the, the Scott, Scott Bright brand, the blue one. And that got beat up pretty quick too. So, but we love the Scott Bright brand. Just, I'm just curious to try this Trader Joe's pop-up sponges. That's all for now. I mean, it's not a big haul, but definitely it's such a exciting time always to, you know, get stuff from Trader Joe's. So, hope you guys like what you see and thank you for watching. See you next time. God bless.